one and all, hope everybody's okay. I am coming on very quickly, I didn't intend to come on today but I've had a few messenger messages. <laughs> I've had a couple of emails and I've had a comment or two about our chamois. Okay, when you receive your chamois you will notice, this is the chamois packaging, okay, you will notice it comes in a sealed bag and it has little notches on, see at the corner there, <laughs> you can't really see can you? Can you see the little notch out at the top? Trust me it's there. <laughs> Yeah, right, so it comes in a sealed bag and you rip the bag open and you take your chamois out and you will notice that it's soft and supple and damp, it feels damp to the touch and it has a funky smell on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, that is because your chamois should be kept damp or wet, okay. I left mine out last night. <laughs> okay, I can't, I can force it to bend, but it, it's not really as pliable. Okay, and yet yeah, it's a mess. I've got to go and wash it. Now, you can wash them in warm, soapy water, like you would a normal chamois. Only I hope this is synthetic and not real chamois because... If it's real chamois, then it'll be getting tossed <laughs> and I'll refuse to use it. <laughs> but anyway, just to show you, when you get it damp again, as you heard me in the video, video yesterday, I sprayed it with my um, stamping mist. Okay. For me, that was just to get the funky smell off. <laughs> um. But yeah, it is supposed to be kept damp or moist or whatever. Once you've finished with it, I would highly recommend um, washing it out and then putting it in one of our cassettes. And what I mean by the cassettes, I mean, let me just get one that I have me dies in. Okay, I'll take these dies out for a minute. You can buy these, okay, empty DVD cases or stamp cases, whichever you want to look at it, okay. Now this will, once it lays flat and all, it will fit in one of these cassettes. So, in answer to your question, I sprayed it yesterday and I'll just do it now for you <laughs> to get it wet again. See how I can now move that, do you see, and it's not <laughs> breaking off or anything, um, it has to be kept damp, so as I say I'm going to wash this in a minute in warm soapy water, once I've done that it will lay perfectly fat, flat again for me <laughs> and I can get it into my um, stamping case okay so yeah I could use that again on a stamp that I haven't got around to clean um, or have I <laughs> and it will still do its job don't think that was dirty but anyway no it wasn't it was the only one I had on my block so yeah, so that is the chamois from Stampin' Up. As you can see, everywhere else is like cardboard. <laughs> but yeah, that corner is just like a real chamois. Okay, so enough about the chamois. I just wanted to put that across. So it's not, um, you've not ruined it by letting it dry out. Um, it just dries like cardboard and you can soften it up again. It does come to you damp and 
putting that out there, it does come to your damp in a sealed packet, okay? Um, that's just because they don't want it drying out on you just, and you're going to get it and think, what the flipping hell is that? You know? <laughs> so don't worry about it coming damp. You just have to keep it damp and the best way is to keep it in one of these, okay? And as I said, I'm going to wash this now in warm, warm soapy water. Excuse me. Um, and I'm going to put it in my case. Um, and then every time I use it, I will use my stamp and mist. Um, as I say, only because it has a funky smell on it. And if anyone can tell me what that smell is, I'd be much appreciated. <laughs> so there you go. So don't go throwing it away thinking, oh, I've ruined it and it's cost me X amount of money. You haven't ruined it at all. Um, the other thing I came on to do, let me just put these dyes away otherwise, they'll end up in the bin or up the hoover. <laughs> Um, as of, is it the first tomorrow? Where are we with Sunday? Yeah, the first, Monday. As of Monday, you have from Monday until the 7th. So the first till the 7th, um, it's World Card Making Week. And stamping up to celebrate this is doing... They done it last year as well. Um, you can buy certain DSPs, certain um, card stock, um, the note cards, dimensionals I think is on it. Um, all stuff for making your basic cards. Um, and you can get them at a discounted price from the list that they provide up and from tomorrow up until the 7th. Okay, <laughs> so you'll see us all running and stocking up on our um, bits and pieces. Right, so I have got a piece of card here because I am making my grandbaby um, some dimensional stars um, for his school. Okay, I told you coming up to this time of the year, I am really busy and really involved with a lot of family stuff and um, stuff for um, my grandbabies and all. So I'm making three dimensional stars but what I'm going to do is, and I only decided to do this afterwards because I'm going to tell the teacher that it's a must. <laughs> she probably look at me and say I am get a life. <laughs> Um, you're going to take a piece of 6x6 six six card, okay? This is to make these stars. And you're going to fold it, origami style. It's actually called kiligami. Um, because you're actually going to use a pair of scissors. <laughs> kiligami, I think it's called. So you're going to fold it in half, okay? You're going to open it. You're going to fold it in half the other way. You can do these out of the cardstock. You can do these out of DSP, um, as long as it's six by six. If you want to do smaller ones or bigger ones, so long as your paper measures the same on both width and height, i.e. six by six, eight by eight, four by four, I wouldn't go any lower than a four by four. Um, you can do these at all kinds of different sizes um, and that's what I'm going to intend on doing. So we folded it in half, opened it, folded it in half, opened it. Now we're folding it diagonally corner to corner. These are going to get painted with my um, metallic paints. Um, so we folded it corner to corner that way. You're going to open it out and you're going to fold it corner to corner that way. 
Okay. This is just like my little working prototype. <laughs> so then you're going to open it out. Okay, and you're going to see all them score lines and then go, oh my God, what this crazy woman doing? So, on your straight lines, okay, where we first done them folds, okay, you're going to take a ruler and you are going to mark, let me turn your ruler upside so I get it precise. You are going to mark every one and a quarter inch. There's a pencil. So, one and a quarter. And nobody's going to see these, so, you know, don't worry about it. One and a quarter. They're just a guide for you, that's all. One and a quarter. one and a quarter okay now I have a punch I know it's retired I know it's not in the catalogue but it's the only star punch I have in there <laughs> before anyone goes telling me off right so we, we've got our one and a quarter what we're going to do first is cut up to that one and a quarter line that we've just made take your paper snips Okay, so cut up that line. Okay, so we cut up all them lines. Don't need scissor, ruler or anything anymore. Okay, so now what I'm going to do or what I'm going to attempt to do with this, it might not work. Um, figure out which is going to be with the front of mine and I'm just just going to punch out a couple of stars <laughs> um, and it will be just a couple by the looks of it Oh, that's better. So I can do one right down here, one up there, and don't get rid of them stars that you punch out because you can use them. Okay. So once you've done that, once you've decided which side is going to be your closure side and which side is going to be your front okay now where we've cut up these lines okay you're going to fold this one over gently try not to rip it to meet up with that score line okay and you want it up there right up to the point And I am doing this out of cardstock, so it is going to be a bit more harder for me to get it to that point. Okay. If you're using DSP, then you will get it easier. <laughs> and you're going to do the same with the other side that we punched. Okay, taking care with that because we've punched holes in it, so we've weakened it. Okay, so just be mindful of that, don't go in or like a bull in a china shop. And you're going to do that all the way around. And burnish them, don't forget to burnish them. Now 
Okay. Um, I'm going to do these probably in my Whisper White or Very Vanilla. I am going to sponge them with my paint, probably the Very Vanilla, and sponge it with a gold paint. Um, you know our shimmer paint, you know I love this stuff. Yeah, I'll just get me sponge, one of these ones, and just pounce on it. And I intend to put the cool um, LED lights into it. So that the teacher has the job of switching them on. <laughs> and you've seen me use them lights before. That the same ones that I used for my snowflake wreath card. They are LED. They do come with a battery, but they are the cool ones. They don't get hot. Hot. And saying that, I wouldn't leave them on um, for any length of time anyway. Um, especially if I wasn't going to be either in the house or in the room that it was in. I just wouldn't. Um, I'm like that with my Christmas lights. <laughs> they just don't get left on anyway <laughs> when I'm not in the house. Okay, so we've got that now. All right, so now you're going to need your glue. And what you're going to do is you're going to push that diagonal fold down and you are going to bring this one over the top of that one. And that is what will... I didn't have to punch them out, look, because I've not got none. To the center so I know for next time anyway so you're going to get that shape okay and what you've done essentially is them two wings you've just made the, like these two wing things you just cross them one over the other okay and I'll have to do them holes with me pokey tool <laughs> seeing as me punch didn't work and then what you're going to do is just put glue on one side. So you take your... Don't go overboard with the glue at the end of the, the, end of the day. It's only cardstock. Um, and they're going to get chucked after Christmas probably anyway. I would imagine because they'd be full of dust and all. Okay, so you're going to do that all the way around. Work out which one you're going to put your glue on. Only put your glue on one side and on the inside. Okay, so you fold that flap down and you bring this over and you stick it together. And if you folded it right it should automatically um, make that point shape anyway. And as I say, I'm going to make a curtain of these. So they're going to be all different lengths, all different sizes. But I just wanted to try and see if that punch would give me the holes that I needed. But no. See, nothing ever goes right for Mel. Trial and error, trial and error. <laughs> so you're going to do that all the way around, okay? So our last one. And that one's decided to come open as well. <clears throat> 
Okay. So that is what you're going to be left with. And I think, yeah, I need to put glue on this. So you're going to do two. So out of a 12 by 12 sheet of DSP, if that's what you choose to use, um, you will get two stars. And I can hear you all saying, but Mel, you've said they were six by six. Yeah, but these two are going to make one star. <laughs> so out of a 12 by 12, you will get two stars. If you're doing the six by six. Okay. So there we go, there's our two stars, right? Now what you're going to do is, you can either cover the back there with a piece of cardstock, so it makes it easier for this to stick on, okay? Or you can just use your um, glue dots, but that's how it's going to go. <laughs> so it's going to be like a 3D star. And I'm sure many of you can remember making them when you were a child in school yourself. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick them both together when I do my proper ones. But I just wanted to show you how to do them just on my sort of template, if you like. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how it will look. And I think them done in very vanilla, dabbed with our sponge, a few holes in each one, now that I know where my holes need to be, um, and some light in them, I think they look the part. Better than anything you can buy. As I said, you know I love this stuff. So I will just be getting a clean sponge on my very vanilla and just dabbing it all on. I won't even paint it properly I'll just give it that mottled look so yeah so there's that there's the update on our chamois <laughs> okay it was it was a valid question you know and it was an important one because people would look at that and think oh well that was a waste of money and chuck it and there's no reason for you to it will go back <laughs> Okay, so there's our start. You start off with the 6x6 six six or whatever size you want to do. Fold it in half, fold it and open it up, fold it in half the other way. Then fill, open it up, fold it diagonal. Then diagonal the other way. Then put a little tick mark at one and one quarter inches on all your straight score lines, the cross. Okay one and a quarter inches on each side and then you just simply take your cardstock and wrap it over the back and it will form that shape. That's the side profile of it. Okay, you could keep it as that if you wanted to and just put your strings on the back um, all different sizes but I do like that look if I'm honest so there you go so that was your your quick project for today <laughs> and my template so that I know where to put me hills and now I'm going to wash my chamois um, so have a lovely Sunday my grandbabies will be down this afternoon um, so I'll get them making these as well <laughs> <laughs> child labour <laughs> um, and I'll speak to you all next week don't forget about the whale card, card making um, promotion as of tomorrow till the 7th ok ladies and gents take care and I'll speak to you all probably tomorrow <laughs> bye